Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you 9 reasons why the new HTC One A9 is better than the iPhone 6s. So starting off from the reason number 1 which is the high resolution display. Now that is pretty obvious because most of the Android phones that are better than the iPhone 6s is basically because of resolution. Uh, if we compare it with the Galaxy S4, let's say for example, uh, that comes with like 5.0 zero inch display with 1080p HD resolution so yeah that's a, a pretty obvious win for most of the Android phones so one a9 also picks up the win here and it is better uh, having a bigger screen size and also a better resolution uh, than the iPhone 6s which has a 4.7 inch screen size with a 750 by 1334 pixel resolution for 326 pixels so second reason is the lower launch price now currently the full price of a 16 gigabyte iPhone 6s stands at $649 at the US uh, Apple Store and of course in my country if I want to buy the iPhone 6s it will cost me more money with tax and all that other stuff but as compared to the HTC One A9 its launch price is much more lower it is available uh, for $399 and that's almost like having a $250 difference as compared to the US price of the iPhone 6s 16 gb model which is $649 uh, so of course uh, this price is pretty awesome if you want to buy the HTC One A9, if you are thinking to buy the 32 gigabyte HTC One A9, you can buy it for $399. Uh, uh, and uh, however, keep that in mind that this price of the One A9 is only set for a limited time. The third reason is the uh, O protection. Now, this is a pretty nice deal from HTC because it is it is like a protection package, which is pretty neat because the HTC will replace your One A9 if it suffers from water damage or its screen is broken within first 12 months of ownership. So that's a pretty nice deal for me because, you know, I occasionally do some videos on smartphone. Not occasionally, almost a lot of phone that I have uh, tested out with knives and other stuff. So yeah, this can pr prove to be good for me. Uh, but of course, if you use if you uh, use the Apple Care Plus, of course, if you have the iPhone, that will cost you more money. Um, uh, probably $1.99 for two years. And then also there's a additional $79 service fee that you will have to pay if you want to use it. And um, and also one more thing with the HTC One A9 is that you can also get $100 off towards your next HTC One device to keep the package more awesome. So coming at number four is the optical image stabilization. Now, I know the iPhone 6S Plus has the optical image stabilization, but the iPhone 6S doesn't have so yeah for the 6s plus you have to pay more money but currently we are comparing it with the 6s so let's talk about it so a uh, 1a9 is coming uh, with the optical image stabilization that will actually going to uh, you know use the camera module to uh, compensate for vibration caused by user hand and you know if you're making videos and you are walking it uh, are going to produce like a more uh, smoother experience for you uh, well on the other hand the iPhone 6s uh, that does not have the optical image stabilization will going to uh, provide like a more like a shaky experience that I have experienced uh, currently because I do own my iPhone 6s uh, so yeah that's that so of course um, the One A9 doesn't shoot better in dark uh, conditions as compared to the iPhone 6S. Uh, but of course, with optical image stabilization, uh, this phone does have some technical advantage over the 6S. At number five is the raw images. Now, this feature is going to grab the attention of a lot of photographers out there because raw photos contain some uncompressed image data, which is you know a lot more better for uh, being edited on the on the A9 and of course on uh, some professional image editing softwares like Photoshop. So yeah, you get all the details and all that cool stuff. While on the other hand, when you take pictures from your iPhone 6s, those pictures will be saved in JPEG format, uh, and the JPEG format will definitely going to compress the image to some extent, uh, meaning that the, that some fraction of the visual information will be lost. So of course, uh, JPEGs can be edited in many ways, but yeah, that they are not as suitable 
as good as their raw counterparts so yeah especially if you want to tweak uh, parameters like exposure white balance and highlights and shadows so yeah definitely into if you are into photography and all that you will definitely going to love this feature the sixth reason is also pretty straightforward uh, that's also the reason why most of the Android phones are better than the iPhone 6s which is the sport for micro SD card slot and of course uh, 32 GB of built-in storage so yeah the one a9 model that i uh, told you before uh, that comes uh, with uh, the price point of 400 dollars uh, actually comes with 32 gb of built-in storage uh, of course uh, with that you will also going to get uh, the micro SD card slot option for story expansion. Uh, you can um, put like a 128 gigabyte of micro SD uh, card, uh, which will cost you about uh, like uh, around like $80 maybe on Amazon. Uh, uh, while on the other hand, if you buy a 128 gigabyte iPhone 6S, that will cost you around uh, $200 than its base uh, 16 gigabyte iPhone 6s model uh, which will be ultimately around like 900 or 950 dollars yeah it, yeah it will be around like close to thousand dollars so yeah that's a lot of lot of money for a smartphone at number seven is the better audio sport now HTC one a9 has no troubles playing back high quality resolution audio files uh, that are encoded at 24 bit depth at a sampling rate of uh, 192 kilohertz by comparison uh, that's a lot more better than what the iPhone 6s offers which is only limited to CD like quality sound levels uh, which are at like 16 bits at 48 kilohertz so of course uh, these are the these are the normal uh, values that will you know a lot of um, around like 99 percent of user uh, will need but of course the one person of people who might have the ears or might want a lot more out of their phone in terms of audio capabilities then yeah a9 will do the better job for them coming at number eight is the sport for fast charging now one a9 sports quick charge 2.0 of course with the update to 3.0 coming soon it is definitely pretty awesome because the battery can be recharged at higher rates especially when it is very low on charge so um, but uh, you'll need a special charger to take advantage of this feature on the other hand uh, the iphone 6s needs around like 150 minutes to have its battery recharged from zero to full which is of course disappointing because of course you pay a lot of money for for iPhone then there is no fast charging so yeah uh, that's also one of the big deals in Android department that people are getting you know fast charging is available on almost all Samsung phones uh, from mid-range to uh, to budgets and also the high range phone so yeah this is a big deal the last but not the least is the freedom the freedom of customization the freedom of changing the OS the way you want uh, widgets, live wallpapers, icon packs, launchers, any anything that you can get from Play Store uh, that will change your phone looks. You can also change its functionality to a much, much greater lever than what you can do on the iOS with the iPhone 6S. So of course you can jailbreak it, but even with the jailbreak, you still can't reach to the level of Android. Uh, so iPhone 6S only has limited support for dynamic wallpapers, widgets, uh, which are only available in the pull down notification panel. So yeah, that's the good thing with the Android phone. So yeah, uh, these were the nine reasons why the HTC One A9 is better than the iPhone 6S. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe for daily tech videos on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.